Very game heads. There are often a lot of good mobile games that go under the radar thanks to the seemingly endless list of games shoved into our face with annoying misleading ads and whatnot. So today, let's take a look at 10 underrated high graphics mobile games for you to play this match. Starting on the list, we've got Bullet Echo, a weird battle royale and tactical shooter game that mixes an overhead third person view and stealth mechanic with a battle royale system. In the game, you and your teammates are spawned in a dark room and must search and eliminate other players to win. There are armor and shields to collect, and you can choose from a set of heroes with different weapon types and abilities. The cheating mechanic is automatic. The gameplay I find quite fun and simple, and the graphic looks fine. Overall, it's a pretty unique game that takes time to get used to, but is really good. At number 9 is Kingdom Draw, a hybrid of turn-based strategy game with customizable card collection, all set in a fantasy medieval world. The gameplay is like a board game on top of a hexagonal grid where you protect your castle while placing strategic cards to capture your enemy's castle. The cards placed range from army to support and beast cards, each with varied effects. You can move your played army across locations in hope of seizing resources, advantageous terrains, and finally taking over your enemy's home. I found the gameplay quite suiting, and the controls and inner working of the game are quite simple. Yep, it's a pretty decent yet unique card game. Number 8 Packing Master Multiplayer 2, a open world multiplayer racing game with really good graphics. You drive your car around a big open world environment filled with missions to complete and multiplayer actions. Try out dozens of cars, more than 120, and experience beautiful scenery, epic races, and masterful drifting. And you can also leave your car and take a stroll. The controls of the vehicle feel smooth enough, and you can view the car from multiple angles, and the tuning feels fun and free. Yep, it's just a perfect game for racing game fans. Continuing with number 7, Phobies, another tactical card collection turn based strategy game where you control and battle with literal fears. Place your favorite Phobies card in hexagonal tiles and watch your irrational fears duke it out with one another. Upgrade and collect over 120 card collection of dubious and mischievous fears. The gameplay is quite colorful, tactical and engaging. The graphics look amazing and the Phobies ability look quite interesting. Overall, it's a really good card game with a solo adventure mode and multiplayer mode. At number 6 is Sausage Man, a hilarious yet pretty engaging battle royale with pretty nice graphics. The game offers a wacky world where you play with sausage avatars and experience a fluid and hardcore battle system. Play with flare guns, resurrection machines, tactical covers, you know, the whole BR package. What I found really interesting is the death animation and the really incredible and fun looking world. Sausage Man also has up to 6 different modes to try out, engaging gameplay and hilarious characters. Number 5 Candy Disaster Tower Defense A nice and pretty engaging tower game where you protect and collect all the special candy from invaders who will stop at nothing to take it. Unlock and deploy traps to create hilarious combos as you try to keep the candy all to yourself. The game offers over a hundred hours of gameplay across three different maps. Candy Disaster has really easy controls and it's also pretty engaging and the trap combos can be quite pleasing. The graphics are beautiful and the sound well done. In the end, it's a pretty decent indie tower defense game. Number 4 is Silvers. A deck builder with RPG and deep strategic elements. You play as a boy with a soul driver, a device capable of converting souls into data, responsible for the elimination of deformities. The game offers 20 to 100 hours of game time, all with exhilarating battles, epic dungeons, and a compelling deep story set in a futuristic world. 
it also really emphasizes on the rich customization system that lets you combine skills and weapon combos. Solvers gameplay and controls has a lot going on and will indeed take time to learn but aside from that, it's a pretty decent pixel deck builder. Number 3 is Brotato, a down top arena shooter roguelike where you play a potato wielding up to 6 weapons at a time to fight off hordes of aliens. You are a Brotato, the only potato capable of handling 6 weapons at the same time. Waiting to be rescued by his mates, Brotato must survive in this hostile environment. The gameplay mechanic is a lot like Survivor Ilo, where you have auto firing and manual aiming, hundreds of items are weapons to choose from, and recently generated 20 to 90 second enemy waves. Yep, the game is pretty good, and you can also change the difficulty to suit your type of gamer. At number 2 is Hextech Mayhem, a Netflix subscription fast paced rhythm runner that features League of Legends Ziggy and Hemidinga. In the game, you play as the mysterious Ziggy as you bomb, bounce, and bump to the beat of the music to avoid obstacles, disarm enemies, and light fuses to achieve maximum kills. Cause musical mayhem while outrunning the no fun allowed Hemidinga in your quest to build the greatest bomb that the world has ever seen. The gameplay is absolutely fire and the controls is really simple to learn. Overall, the game seems fun and pretty engaging. Final number one spot is Flash Party. Flash Party is a very fun platformer fighting game with high resemblance to Smash Bros. With over 20 heroes from 4 distinct classes to choose from, each with a unique playstyle. The gameplay mechanic is like that of Smash Bros where you have to knock the enemy out of the platform to win. The controls are pretty general for each genre, attack, jump, dodge and block. Throw your opponents off stage with all sorts of moves and that pretty sums up this Smash Bros lookalike for mobile. Okay, that's it for today's list of high crap mobile games to play. Which one caught your eye? Let me know in the comment section and what genre would you like me to talk about next? Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. This is Pidoc and I'm out too.